channel and if you're new here welcome to the crazy family and if you were to be here you know you're part of the family that means you already know you're part of the family look how cute Beyonce look right now this is what I want to look like like hello like goals right here we ugly right now okay we ugly ugly <laughs> but give me an hour and I pull myself together anyway today's video is we're gonna be trying some new ish on the market what's new was popping in the makeup world um, some stuff excites me, so I was like, mm. you know, I normally do these videos every once in a blue moon, but some products really excite me, so I want to give them a try. Let's get into trying all this new goodies and transform because we're looking a little high. No, how are you? <laughs> all right, the first thing we're gonna try is the we're gonna go in with the Tasha Dewey Dewey Skin Cream. This one's new. It just came out. Um, I tried it. What are you doing? Okay, I tried it the other day, but I didn't put makeup on. So I wanted to try it with makeup to see like how it works and stuff. But um, I love Tasha stuff. Like their skincare stuff is really, really good. It is in the pricey side though. So if you could go to Sephora and get some samples. <laughs> You'll be good. This feels so good. So, so good. I love that. All right, so for primer, I'm gonna be grabbing uh, Ultra Reaper Hydrating Primer by First Aid. This is new. It just came out on the market. You guys know I love the moisturizer from here. I literally use this every day of my life. So I'm excited that they came out with the primer and we don't see you if it works. <laughs> I use my teeth for everything, by the way. <laughs> Take out everything. Um, I haven't tried it, so this is gonna be my first. Okay, it's very like moisturizing, but lighter. Okay. Oh, it smells, smells like, it smells like something that my mom used to put on when, she, when I was small. It literally, it feels like my skin just drink like a cup of water and I like that. What if those two become like my main thing right now? Cause my skin is really in the dry side. I'm not even gonna lie. Now it's time to use the Dragon Beauty Corrector. Um, this one right here, like I said, I was excited cause you guys know I love correcting every video, correct my life away. And even a lot of you guys be like, you don't need to. I'm gonna. Um, I watched some videos about this before um, putting it on. And some people were saying that it dries really fast, so I'm just gonna um, put on and blend right away because I need to blend it. And you guys know how I am when I put a corrector on. I um, I put on all over and then I blend it, and it's kind of like no, we can't do that. So yeah, let me see. It looks good though. It's very orangey. And this they say that this is for for every like skin tone. I don't know about that. I think there's gonna be a little flashback because I remember when Ray put in my orange corrector is kind of like the same shade. She was looking a little orangey. So, you know, you will have to try it for yourself to see how it works. But so far, it's going on, um, it's going good. It does dry fast, so make sure that you go a little by little and blend right away. So, yeah. Okay, we are corrected. Yeah, it looks a little dry here. Oh, oh, look how that came off my skin. Oh no, I don't like that. Wait a minute, Nikita, what the hell? Look at this. You close up. Look at that. Why? Why is that happening? Man, 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 okay, hold on. Pause. All right, so we're back. So basically it dries like a powder. So don't use too much because this is gonna be like a little bit of scary. I just hope that it really corrects on the bottom, like for the foundation, but it looks good, but it dries really fast. Like I just kind of like clean up, like try to blend it and it just, it came off. So I'm like, ugh, we hoping for the best. Let's move on, moving on. I'm gonna be using the Morphe foundation again. I love how this foundation went on, but it was a little too matte for me. So I'm gonna do literally one pump of this and two of the NARS, because you guys, the NARS know it's more like, um, it's a radiant, uh, what is it? Like more dewy finish, and this is really, really matte. I just wanna give this foundation a try again because I just love how it went on. It's just, it was a little too matte for me. And I'm gonna be using literally my new obsession of sponges. This one is the Juno. Um, microfiber sponge it's just the way that it lays foundation on your face is amazing I if you want a flawless finish 
this right here does the job. So I've been loving this sponge. Okay, I wanna see how the foundation looks around the area that I corrected. Okay. Oh, it looks good. It looks good. Okay. It looks good. So, around my mouth, it looks a little like orangey. It looks, uh, it comes out really, really orangey. Um, even after I put the foundation on and I'm really, really pressing it in there, but if it, it looks smooth, it looks, it looks good. But I wonder like how it looks if you take a picture or anything like that, if you're going to look a little orangey, I don't mind looking a little orangey, but I just mind like for the lighter people, is it really going to work for them? That's one of the things that I'm like, hmm. I don't think that works for everybody. But so far, at first I got a little scared, but then after, it looked good. Moving on. We like, we like, we like what we see. We like, we like. All right, so we're gonna move on to eyeshadow. Look how pretty this is. This is so gorgeous. Stay. This is so gorgeous. I feel like with this palette, you could do so many things because it has a black and it has a transition. It has some um, shimmers and the like pink and orange. Like I just, I love palettes like this and it has a blush color that I know is going to look really, really pretty on me. So yeah, this is the Dose of Color Mini, Mini Mouse Collection. If, yeah, Mini Mouse Collection. I'm going to go ahead and prime my eye right quick with the Plows base. So make the eyeshadow clap, clap in there. Make that shadow graph. <laughs> All right, we have on uh, primer. I'm gonna start with Forever Friends, the transition color, and apply that in my crease. Hmm. So we got the first color in there. Then I'm gonna go ahead with Glam Girl, the orangey tone, and go on top. Just add a little bit of color in there. Not too much. I don't want too much orange in there. Uh, style flash right here. And I'm going to put that in the middle of my eye. Just like in there for a little shimmercito. I want something like this. It's too big. No, this is good. Style flash. I'm just gonna add it in the middle or let me see what happens in here. You know what? I'm just gonna add it all over. Really fine. Hmm. Oh, I like that. Okay, so on top, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the black color right here. And I'm just gonna smoke that in the corner. Just like a little bit of peak dark in there. And I'm gonna add a little bit of the glitters. They came out with three different ones, but I don't have no idea where the third one is at. So I'm gonna go in with Darling. Oh, let me see Darling or Stunning. Let's see. Stunning is a little more gold and Darling is a little more um, brownish. Maybe like a rich brown kind of thing. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply just a little bit of that, just here, like this. And then go on top with my finger. Because I don't want the eye to be like, oh, hella glitter. No. Just like, you know, so, oh, something in there. That's what I'm, yeah. A little bit of glitter in there. I'm like, hi. I want to go in with more, but step away from the glitter so we are not doing that much stuff in your eyes. Just boom, 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 keep it moving. Keep it moving. So, okay, so now I'm going to be using this um, Kevin O'Quan, what is this? Sculpting in Deep, and I'm going to go ahead and contour with this. I've been loving this little, it's a little harsher though than the one that I normally use, but it gives you like a pickup. Like, I'm like, what? I want my cheeks to be like, hi, how are you? It's perfect for that. A little here. Hmm. I'm like, hello. Cut me up. Cut me up. Yesterday I was watching um Kathy's video and Scott Bar Burrows. 
I forgot his name, but he's like a celebrity makeup artist. He does, he's known for the J-Lo glow. He did her makeup and literally I was so inspired and I want to try his technique on my face because the the way that Tati looked at the end, I was like, nah, this can't be, this can't be real. Like, excuse me? What? She looked amazing. So, and he did the whole like contour underneath and put foundation on top and all that good stuff. So I kind of want to do a video just recreating that because I was so inspired by it. And Tati looks amazing, like I said. Mm -hmm. mm, 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 mm. This is the 164 by MAC. I don't know if they still sell it, but it's one of my favorite brushes to do the um, concealer. Okay, so for under eyes, I'm gonna go in with Tarte Shape Tape in Deep. You guys already know what's up. This is a, this is not new here. We've been doing this. And this is gonna conceal for me right quick. Conceal my mistakes. We're not hiding yet. We're concealing. Just a little. When you put a concealer on, it's like a completely different. You're a whole human. A different whole human. Like, what? Who is she? Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. I was when I put a concealer. And I start setting the face and just sculpting. It's like, whoo! There you are, girl. You were missing for a couple of days. <laughs> Maybe a week. <laughs> okay, so for concealer, I'm going to use uh, UA in the color Ginger. Um, hi, highlight me. And I'm going to go a little ham with this. <laughs> oh guys, I got Botox on my face. I can't move my forehead. Look at my forehead how smooth it is. I'm gonna do a video telling you guys about it. And I record a little bit of something else that I got done. I don't know if you guys will tell what it is, but I will do a video and telling you guys all about it. Because you know I can't be hiding things from you guys. If I get anything then I promise I was gonna share it with y'all. I don't want any judging situation though because you will get locked. Like this is my face and I could do what I want with it. Um but yeah, I'm pretty happy with the results of the things that I got, so. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the chin, the lip, and then, oh, I forgot to go. Girl, we better go in the nose. And just like that, in two seconds, we're blended out to perfection. That's a whole, like, it took like 10 minutes, I'm like, <laughs> to make sure that that stayed. I'm gonna be moving on with Kanufa, Huda Beauty, you guys already know what's up, to set this underneath situation. Make it look flawless, like, hi, I woke up like this. My favorite part. Like, when you set, you're like, yes, I did that. I don't want nothing moving. Going nowhere. Hello. Ooh, look at that set. <laughs> Hello. Hi, how are you? Whatever's left, I go around my face and I'm Gucci. I'm Gucci. I'm Gucci. I'm gonna go ahead and blend out. Not blend out. Add a little bit of um, color on the bottom from the eyeshadow, just lightly. I like how this just looks like, you know, like very sexy and sultry. I'm gonna grab Forever Friends and Style Flash just on the bottom lightly, and then go on top with black. Just a tip, notch. In there did I just make the word up I don't know all right so what are we gonna do now we're gonna go ahead and contour I'm gonna be using deep dark you guys already know what's up Mac I got a new one you guys say look how pretty that is brand new hi how are you and I'm gonna dust this around my face to give me a little bit of brown up and bring those little cheeks up a little Now we're contour, boom, boom, thank you so much. Snatchiness, natural ratchiness. <laughs> I'm gonna grab some gel, brow gel by Anastasia, tame those little hairs on before I go in with product. I like the little hairs just sitting there, cute. Dry up a little before we even move to another part of this segment. I'm gonna be using this new mascara by MAC. It's a better version of the standard play because look, the one comes curve. And you guys know that I always bent it, so I'm kinda happy about this. I'm gonna fill these babies up, add some lashes. I love how my eyes look, they look really, really pretty. Hmm. While the glue dries, I'm gonna go ahead and put some blush on. I'm gonna be grabbing Hello Girly from the palette. Oh, that's okay. All right, ooh. Oh, that's gonna look so pretty on me. 
which is Lily. Ooh, that's cute. No, oh, that's so pretty. I like it. You guys know I don't like the much blush, so that's really, really cute. Now for highlight, I'm gonna be using this one. I don't know if a lot of you guys have this. This is the Meyer Carey last year collection, maybe two years, or I don't know how, when this came out, but this, it's my favorite highlight at this moment. Um, I'm gonna put this in the bottom and then I'm gonna try the Anastasia on top. So you guys know how to create concussions because then I look ashy and I don't like that. Look how pretty and settle the highlight is. A lot of highlights, they make me look extra ashy. So I have to make my concussion like you guys know. See how pretty that is? A little in there. I even put it on my chin because it's so nice. And my nose, my lips. Hi. Hi, 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 hi. But I do want to try this Anastasia. Though. This Anastasia is right here. <laughs> um, okay, let me try to open this. <laughs> Should I do this one? Should I do this? I don't like thick, thick, thick highlights. So I'm just literally destroying it and then going on top of whatever's left on it. Because they, oh, oof, it is pretty though. So what I'm doing, this is how much I put in the cap. Literally, if you, you see, this is how much I put on it. And I kind of smashed it because it comes out too thick. And then kind of play with the brush and dust it in your hand and then go on top of your face. Because if you go directly here, it's going <clears> to <throat> too much of a mess up. Just letting you guys know, you know, that is beautiful with my concussion. Oh, that's pretty. I'm out of it. Literally, this is gonna last you forever because this is a lot in here. This one is the color Sunset Aura, the pink top. Buzz down, Tatiana, buzz down, Tatiana. I like it, I like it. Wait, what happened with this glue? Is that a good glue? How could you do this? For lashes, I'm gonna be using my friend Kevin Way lashes. These are like my favorite lashes at the moment. Um, for a natural and semi-sexy look, I love these ones because they don't go like too crazy, too much, and I think this glue is dry. <laughs> Yes, it is. Yo, I, have you guys ever seen a spire glue? Here it is. You see this? Look at the spire glue. I just applied it. Go on. Let me get a different glue. Give me that. Hold up. Okay, let that dry. Okay, so we went with the glue again. Let it dry a little. I'm just going to go in with lips. I'm going to go in with Bautiful. Bow. Bautiful. Mini Mouse Collection Dose of Color. <sighs> nude High. Look at this nude. <laughs> I love it. It smells so good. So when it's liquid lipstick, I always go first with the liquid lipstick, just on the middle of my lips, and then I grab my finger, and I just lo distribuyo all over the lips. I don't know how to say distribuyo in English. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that's pretty. Mm, 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 mm. You guys already know what's up. BFF on deck. We got cork. Cork in action. And then go to the finger again to blend the liner with the leg color. One of my favorite formulas from Liquid Lipsticks has to be Dose of Colors because you could tell it's already dry, but it's it doesn't go into your lips and make it look like a butthole. I hate that. I literally hate that. Even though I always end up putting lip gloss on top, this is the only formula that I could put on and still feel like, mm, if I want to stay for a little like this, I can. But I'm going to put lip gloss on. But you know what I mean? It just goes on really, really nice. I'm going to be using Artist Couture. Oh, look how pretty this gloss is. This one is called Climax. Hi, and I love this one. And I'm just going to... How are you? Hello. Oh, my gosh. This is beautiful. Ugh. Hi. How are you? New lip concussion alert. Angel, this is her. Oh! I love it. I'm loud as hell. Oh my gosh, like, no, Zito hates my ass. He's like, why do you gotta give me this lady? Like, why? Yo, where's my other eyelash? Don't play with me. Where's my other eyelash? I'm missing an eyelash. Anyways, we're gonna put these um, lashes on. Favorite lashes at the moment, like I said, Kevin Wade. Uh, they are by Fame Lash. 
love these babies. They're kind of like, um, let me clean my lip off. They're kind of like a smaller version of Miami's. So if you have a little eye and you want to wear Miami's, but you're like, they're too big for me, this Kevin Way Fame Lash will do it for you. Okay, we're done. Oh, this face looks good. Hi, how are you? For eyebrows, I'm gonna be trying something different because I never use this on my eyebrows, but I kind of want to see how it works. This is the new Sigma um, brow products. I'm gonna be using the color dark in it, and I haven't been feeling my eyebrows like this in a long time. So this is gonna be maybe a miss or make situation. We will see. I personally like using more. Ooh, okay. Hi, how are you? The eyeliner, the um, ¿cómo se llama? Pencil, pencil, because it's easier. But ah, uh estoy -uh. grabando, mamá. Osito, stop! I'm recording. Stop! So I didn't know that I was missing powder. This is cute. Hi, eyebrows. I kind of might switch. Yeah, this is good. Like it, like it a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the eyebrows off camera, put my wig on, and I come back to show you guys the final look. But I love how I look like. This is pretty. Hi. <laughs> I'll be back. Hmm. All right, mi gente, we are back. I forgot two things when I left, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it for you guys right quick. Uh, the Dragon uh, Powder, this one right here, the yellow one, I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little underneath my eyes to see if it brightens, like it says that it brightens. I'm a little scared though, because this look a little ashy, but we are gonna see. I'm gonna do the same technique that I do. I'm gonna dip it in there really, really good, and then I'm gonna go on my hand and kinda play with it. And then just go. Let's see. She said this is for everybody too, so I'm trying to see, sis. Oh, it did brighten a little. Ooh, okay. What are you doing, puppy? Are you grabbing a sponge? You need to relax. I see you. I hear you. It did brighten. Ooh! Okay. The only thing that concerns me about this though, I'm gonna tell you guys right quick on there. Let's finish putting this on right quick. Ooh! Okay, so go very lightly with it. Don't literally uh, make sure you play it off like me and kind of just go with it. If you're my color or darker, don't get straight from the pan to your eye because you're gonna look like a joke, okay? Um, but I love how that highlighted. I'm like, what? Hi, hi Kim Kardashian. That's what it reminds me of. Oh, that's pretty. You guys, that's really, really pretty. I like it. The only thing though that it kind of like concerns me, not concerns me, that I'm kind of like, uh-huh. It comes with two colors. It comes with the pink and the yellow. And because I'm darker, I'm not gonna be using the pink one. And for 35 bucks, I'm a little like, I wish that she would have made him single because I'm not gonna use the pink one, you know what I mean? But the powder did highlight. I'm like, hi, how are you? You cute. I put a wig on and just kind of threw her in there and kind of glue her. Don't judge me, you guys. I'm not like really good with gluing, but I'm trying to give you guys a different hairstyle because I'm, I'm all about a bun. So kind of wanted to give you a loose wave situation. And then I'm gonna do it up with the Anastasia spray. Mm. I don't wanna put too much because I don't want the foundation to separate. All right, guys, so we are done. I am not mad. You guys know how I am when it comes to new stuff. I'm very like, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. And I'm kind of, mm, a lot of these items are going to stay in my rotation. Like I love the moisturizer, the corrector. I love the corrector. I love the highlight from Nikita. I was, you know, let me tell you the truth. I, I, at first I was a little like, sis, I don't know, but it did work. Just use it. Like I said, a little by little, don't go ham because it's gonna be a disaster, but it did work. Um, the foundation, we're gonna see how it works later because I mixed one that is really dry with the oily one, but so far my face looks snatched. Like I can't even, hi, 
I need to go somewhere today. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, trying out new stuff. Um, comment below and let me know what you guys think. And I will see you guys on my next video. Ciao. Besitos.